Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to perform color segmentation in OpenCV using HSV color range. So the goal for this video will be to extract this red colored object out of this video. So here you can see a red colored object and in each frame we try to extract this out. So we use HSV color segmentation to perform that. So let's get right into the code. So as always, first we need to import OpenCV and then numpy if needed because the opencv only works with numpy arrays and uh, then we need to read the video which is uh, video capture and then the file name uh, the name the file so it should be located in the same uh, uh, same uh, working directory or else if it's not you have to provide the relative path here it's in the same directory and it's a mpg file so take one dot mpg and uh, once we read that, uh, what I'll do is I'll create an uh, infinite loop here. So I'll use a throwaway variable and a frame to read each frame. So it will read each frame out of the video. And then I'll use the HSV. I'll convert the RGB to HSV. So mainly in OpenCV, there are two formats that is used. One is grayscale and other is HSV. So HSV represents color in a better way than RGB. So we use HSV range here. So CV2, CV2 dot convert color. And we give the frame as the first argument. And then CV2 dot color underscore BGR, uh, it's, which is RGB, BGR to HSV. So once we have converted the RGB format to HSV, we need to specify ranges. So this range, I'll explain how we derive the values in a second. So first we need to give a lower red range. Uh, it is to detect uh, red color, which is a NumPy array of uh, 168, 150 and 50. I'll just explain it in a second how I got those video, uh, how I got those values. So upper red, which is an umpire array of 180, 255, and 255. So the the so how I got these values is that these are the ranges for red color. So there is I got this through a stack overflow answer which I link in the description. So if you want to detect red color that you see here, the uh, x-axis is the H range. The S is the saturation. So this is the U. This is the saturation. We don't care a lot about the V value. So V value could be anywhere in between 50 to 255. So now for the H value for red color, you can see it's around in this region. So it's around 168. So that is the lower range 168 to 180. 180 is the maximum value. So the H value is from 168 to 180. So that is where this 168 and 180 came from. So the next, uh, the saturation value is uh, 150 and 255 because this is the y-axis for saturation and the red is around here 150 and 255. So this is the red value for saturation and this is the U value. So that's how we got the H and S value and V value normally isn't given a lot of significance and uh, you could uh, just fine tune those values according to your use case. So then we create a mask. Mask is that is what the object we are trying to recognize. That is only the red colored object. So CV2 dot um, in range. We use the in range function to give the lower range and upper range. In range of first we need to pass the HSV. And then we need to pass the lower red. And then the upper red. So once we do that. Uh, we'll uh, now mask only contains the object to be detected. So we we take the mask and and it with the original video. So it is a bitwise and the result is equal to cv2 dot uh, bitwise and of frame that is the original frame and then what we do is we pass three arguments for that is equal to mask. And now once we do that, we display each of the frame, the original mask and the result. So I am show. Let's give it a name and then the frame. So similarly, CV2 dot I am show of uh, the mask. 
mask and then cv2 dot i am show of the result so this is the result so once we have displayed it uh, we need to exit exit condition will be when we press the escape key so cv2 dot uh, wait e play of 5 second and then and it with uh, 0 x f f this is because uh, wait key returns a 32 bit value and uh, we need only the first 8 bits so now if that is equal to the ascii value of the escape key uh, we break we break out of the while loop and then uh, cv2 dot destroy all windows dot destroy all windows so once that is done let me just save it and run this code so name video capture is not defined so what is our cv2 dot video capture cv2 dot video capture so this is the mask so as you can see the mask only extracts the uh, extracts what we intend to detect but it doesn't have any color so when we add the mask with the original frame so the original frame we only get the red color which is shown here so this is the final result that is the red that is segmented out of the frame and this is the original video and this is our mask so just you and this portion with this portion you get the red color which is shown here so this is how we perform color segmentation using hsv uh, check out the github code and this video uh, on in the description thank you for watching